Tomorrow marks one year since the shooting at Oxford High School, the shooting that took the lives of Hannah St. Juliana, Tate Mirror, Madison Baldwin, and Justin Schilling. It was the darkest day in the history of Oxford, but one that also brought the community closer than ever. Victor Williams is live in downtown Oxford tonight with how community members are looking back on this past year. Victor? Yes, Kimberly and Devin, you know a lot can happen in 365 days. 365 chances that this community can show how it's trying its best to recover. It's been a roller coaster ride. A year later, and a recently painted mural is honoring the victims of November 30th's tragic shooting. Sadly, it can't cover the scars left behind from that devastating day. Time doesn't heal all wounds, but it helps us to move on and find find the perspective that lets us extract the positivity from any situation, even even the ones that seem most awful on the surface. Community members and business owners like Patrick Hinst and Caroline McLean say healing is happening. The community is, I think it's become a bit stronger because um, everybody's trying to pull together and still heal from this uh, terrible situation. Um, uh, it's it's been a good thing though. Some of the original blue and yellow ribbons remain intact while others have been taken down in hopes of moving the city forward. Pray for Oxford signs however remain everywhere and the new mural on the side of Sisters Salon. We love the fact that there's like a dove on it representing, you know, um, new birth or new, you know, that we're coming out of it. But they also have the symbolization of the people that passed away in honor of all them. It's slightly the same at Woodchips Barbecue. A year ago, the company raised thousands of dollars for the families of the victims. The way it's been able to come together has been really inspiring. So, you know, even in the deepest of tragedies, there's still that light that you can pull out of it. and. You, you've seen some of the best come out of people, and that's really amazing. With the school shooter behind bars, there's at least a sense of justice being served. However, the sad reality is that things will never be the same. I'm sure we will have that point where we can move forward, but as these things go on in the other communities where it's happened, I don't think you ever really get past it. It's such a deep wound that... I don't think it can be completely healed. The same places where students gather to pay their respects will always be a reminder of the strength in numbers, along with how a community came together and made it through the worst with support from others. The events downtown have been much more heavily trafficked. There's a lot more connection with our sister city, Lake Orion. The cold November sky gray once again in a way resembles the dark cloud hanging over the area. But like always, brighter days are ahead. Every day is a new chance for us to bring that brightness into the world. And We're becoming a better community. That's all I can really say. It's, it's becoming a stronger community. And as you can see, the community here is indeed Oxford strong. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, Victor. And tomorrow on Local 4 Plus, we will mark the anniversary. Special coverage coming up of how students are moving through their grief and also at the same time, fighting against gun violence. Hope you'll join anchor Christy McDonald for Oxford Strong one year later at 1230 p.m.